This is the Oswald second edition collector's all-in pledge and it is by far the biggest box that we have unboxed to date, so let's get right into it. As you can probably see in the background, we actually have a storm raging at the moment here in Denmark, so I thought it was the perfect time to be inside and get this big boy opened up. So let's cut it open, I will put it aside and switch over to the top-down camera. There we go. So I got the box down on the floor. And I will pull the stuff out and show you here. And if you think that it looks big and heavy, I can tell you it is heavy. It's way beyond 25 kilograms. But let's see what we have. So I will open up and take the stuff up here on the table. The first thing I find is this small back here. With these purses or sort. Let's get it open. So first off we have a small blue one very very nice with this i would think it's the oswan icon so it folds out like this small purse then we have some smaller black purses so here we have the witch the exile so given that these have the icons and names of the different characters, I would think that this is probably safe bags, some deluxe safe bags. Instead of just using plastic bags, we have the Harbringer here. And the Priest. And we have another set. <clears throat> Let's see. So we have the Penitent. The Huntress. A free company pack, so that's probably for the shared resources, stuff like that. <clears throat> we have the Grove Maiden, the Blade, and these are with like this silver um, engravement here. We have the Warbear, we have Kerr, and we have Warden. And then we have like this big back with this yellow lining here. The Oswald icon again in gold. And this red velvet. So this is a velvet back. I think the blue one is velvet as well. The other seems to be something else. But uh, a lot of backs as the first thing down here. Next up we have a small back. And these are metal dice. Looks like they might be health die actually. So here we have uh, these very nice engraved metal dice, and it, they are actually not engraved because these uh, extrude from the die. Very, very nice quality, very good looking. And then you have the Oswan icon instead of the six, I think it is. No, it seems like it's instead of the one. But yeah, four of these dice here. So next up we have a lot of sleeves. So. This one says card sleeves for Oathsworn into the deep wood. And it is a standard sleeve pack and it has 250 sleeves of 80 mic micron standard size sleeves. We have one, that's not the same. We have one, two, three, and four. So we have a thousand standard card sleeve here. And then we have a Defender sleeve pack. So this one contains sleeve for all three company ability cards, all companion cards, all archetype cards, and both magic decks. And that is 255 standard size, size sleeves and 150 mini sleeves. Then we have a small back here, which is this nice resin, I think it is, Oathsworn token. Probably that you can use on your map. Very nice, very detailed. So next up we have this bag of metal coins. And inside that we have 
different metal coins. So we have these fives, ones, tens and twenties, all in the same colors, but different sizes and different numeric values. And then we have this big bag of dice. It looks like some deluxe dice. We have this black die here with some gold speckles on it. We have a bigger bag of these white semi-transparent dies here. Then we have these black and gold dies. And we have these red and gold dies here. So six of the yellow, black, red and four, eight, ten of the white ones. So next up we have this here and it says, I don't know if you can read it, I will take it up. It says spoiler warning. The maps in this pack contains major spoilers. So I am not going to show you the maps because I'm not going to spoil anything in this unboxing. But we are going to take a look and see if we can see it. maybe the quality of the maps I'm not going to show. So it is thin paper. It has the same back and then we have the maps in here. Um, but it doesn't seem like it's vinyl or anything like that. It seems like it is just paper maps. It might be very thin vinyl actually, when I expect it very closely. I, I actually don't know if this is vinyl or paper maps. See if I can get these down again. Again, no spoilers. So next up we have a couple of cardboard boxes. So one says secret box, you may open this box, and secret box, you may open this box. So let's see if we can get these open. Let's start with this big one. So we have a miniature it looks like inside. It looks like a big version of the war bear. Let me see if I can get this open up. Oh, and it's pre-painted. Very nice. This. So I don't think this is a game component. I would think that this is definitely like a a centerpiece that you can just have on your on your shelf or something that is very very nice. It's probably hard to see all the details on it, but also because I ha have a hard time getting into focus. But it's really 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 nice indeed, and it's quite big as you can see. So this one is another figurine. So again, it seems to be way too big to be game pieces. So these are probably just for showing off. And this one, this time here, we have a, a knight with his big shield here and the cape. Really, really nice sculpt. So the next thing we have is this Oath Sworn into a Deep Wood Armory box here. So let's see what we have inside. And again, I am trying to keep this spoiler free. So anything that would said do not open, we're not gonna take a look at, at least not on camera. So let's see here. So it seems like we have some different plastic inserts. So it says into deep wood armory. And it seems like it is all the different weapons for the different characters. So instead of just the weapons that comes in the box, you can actually switch for all the different weapons in the game. And it should be push fit so you can change during the game. I would personally probably magnetize these instead, but it's definitely gonna add a, another level that the character looks uh, of exactly what they're wearing. So we have an insert here to all the different components when you have probably painted them, I would think. And then in this one, we actually have all the plastic pieces. So here we have the wall bear. They are actually labeled, these bags. And they are already pre-cut, they're not on spruce. They are pre-cut and it, they seem to be okay sturdy plastic. I don't really see a lot of mold lines either. So here we have all the different characters, the Kerr, the 
Warden, etc. All different weapon options. Nice little addition to kind of personalize your your character while playing or characters as you are playing a free company of four players no matter the actual player count. Then we have this book here which is probably an uh, art book. Yeah, art books it says here. Let's see if we can get it open very very gently. I do love this like matte black finish here. So here we go. Let's show some examples of it. Uh, okay, so this book says contains many spoilers. Do not continue bitter on this point. So I'm not going to show you anything else than the front picture, just to ensure that we don't spoil anything. But the, just this picture looks awesome. And again, the same finish on the back side. So there's an art book. I'm not going to show you the content of it. So the first one we have is this one, and you can see it's pretty big by itself. And it says Oswald's Rainbox, 3.8 kilograms, apparently. But uh, let's get over. So let's see. Some cardboard. And we have another box in the box. Okay. So here we have. So this is Oswald into the Deep Wood to Rainbox. Let's just see if we can get it opened up. It is at least very protected as they have shipped us, as it is the third card box that we are opening now for this terrain alone. And there seems to be a box that you can actually open and reclose just like a normal game box. There we go. Okay, so we have a lot of terrain and this is big terrain. Like, I don't know what the scale is here, but it's big. And it also seems like, do we have multiple layers as well? Or what's going on here? So these are taped together and we don't have anything beneath, so I'm just gonna do like this. There we go. So we have these two houses, which seems to be identical, and they are protected here behind. So these are hollow, just to show you, which definitely keeps the the overall weight down. And I can see we have the top of the trees down below. So we have two of these houses protected here. Then we have these walls, which are actually pretty heavy, even though they are hollow. They have quite some weight to it and they all seem to be identical yes and we have what do we have here we have one two three we have six of these walls and then it seems like we have one two three four five yeah five trees as well so these are the middle branches we can take one of the top here and it should slot down like this. And then if we can get uh, one of the bases as well, it's probably some of the dead woods. Okay, so they're actually quite, quite big. There we go. So these are also, you can see compared to my hands, these are also quite big where they are all assembled. But this is instead of the cardboard tokens you have this 3 day terrain that's gonna look awesome on the battle map but yeah a lot of heavy terrain in this box so almost four kilograms but again it's gonna look amazing on the battle map i'm quite sure and if you also paint it up it's gonna look even more awesome it's not the most detailed pieces but it's still gonna look awesome with some paint on it but then uh, that's the terrain box and then we have another box and this one is heavy 
it says Oswald base game, you can see here. And it doesn't really state, yeah. So it states it's about 10 kilograms. So that's one heavy box, but let's get it open and take a look. So there we go. This is a big boy. And again, it doesn't really have anything on the back, so let's just get it opened. Whoa, a lot of stuff coming out. So let's see. So first off, it says a warning. The Dwood holds many mysteries and so does this box. Do not open any boxes, envelopes or book, nor look at the face of any cards or boards until sold so. Uh, you may look at immediately at uh, rule books, punch boards, miniatures in trays, player aids, ability cards, archetype cards, companion cards, my decks, all dice, player boards, three company sheets, and character sheets. So begin to turn this page over. And it shows how everything should go into different inserts. So mystery envelopes. We are not allowed to look at any of these, and we have quite a lot of those. Then we have the miniatures here, and it says here, push fit the sign, which is probably how to change weapons with the armory. So if we take an example here, we have the war bear. Let's see if I can get the focus to work this time. And these are pretty good skulls, I will say. Looks nice. And you should be able to just yeah, you're able to just remove the weapon and exchange it, so that's nice indeed. So it seems like we have the different characters down here. And we have some companions and what is probably some monster tokens here, maybe? Let's see. These are probably companions and allies, I don't know if you can see, but we have like this golem. We have some different soldiers, some hawks, some plants down here and for all the different characters we have the different models as well and these are, are quite big models quite big sculpts I do like the idea that they come pre-assembled but you can exchange the weapons then we have the <coughs> cardboard so here we have the player board and some different Tokens, so these are probably the trees that we saw in the terrain pack. And we were allowed to look at the punch card, so let's get this one open. So here we have the actual battle board, it is double sided. One is like this muddy, and another one is this lost forest here. And of course, it is a complete rectangle. I'm not gonna go too much more into that. It has some orientations based on the normal compass rules. Then we have the different tokens. And again, I don't know what the tokens are, but here you get a look at at least the amount of tokens, which is uh, quite a lot. Here we have the cardboard versions of the coins that we saw the missile versions of. And we have some numbers down here. It seems like it's some turn trackers might be. Then we have what looks like different fire tokens, some more time tokens, and some other effects. We have the walls and the houses, which we also saw in this rain box. Some more fire tokens as well. I don't know if these are double sided, they are, but it's the same image on both sides. And then we have the trees that we just took a look at as well. Then we have some card inserts down here to store all your cards probably while playing. We also have some time tracks it looks like. These are probably all the rule books and free company stuff it is. So let's take a look at that as well. Just get it open. So first we have a uh, free company sheets. Some plastic bags, there's probably some safe bags for your free company and the characters you're playing. We have the journal, I'm not gonna go into that, that is 
where you read from and store the information about the story that you have played up until now. And we have some cardboard here. Then we have the storybook chapters 12 to 21. I'm not going into that, but as you can see, this is very, very thick. I don't know the page count. This is 169 pages. And then we have the rule books. Let me just go back to these. Then we have the storybook for chapter 1 to 11, and this one comes in at 170 pages. So a good 330 pages overall of story. We have the encounter rule book, and we are allowed to take a look here. So this shows all the different components. Nice color, very nice quality print, how to set up the encounter and how you play an encounter. Very nicely laid out here and detailed. I like how to, how to show where to place the different stuff and which cards to play and dice to roll, stuff like that. We have the overall encounter book. We're not going to look into that because that is not one of the rule books. So here we have the story rule book on how to play the story part of the game. Again, it shows all the components that you need and how to set up and then how you play the story mode on these maps using the time tokens. And this is a kind of a choose your own adventure style game. So that was a lot of booklets. Then we have some different cubes here, different colored cubes. We have some gems. We have a lot of different decks. So these one are the might decks. There is one for each color die or card, if I remember correctly. Here we have some normal six-sided dice, some 12-sided dice. I can really like this deep red marmot color. We have another of these nice tokens here. It is exactly the same as we saw earlier. Then we have the different dice that you're using. And I can see these are the same as we had in the looks. So these are from worst to best. These are the damage dice instead of using the might deck. We have uh, another set of metal die down here. Nice indeed. Then we have some more might decks. We have a box that is Label, we're probably not allowed to open this one. We have a lot of card packs, so these are for the different characters that we can play. So here we have the Huntress, Ricochet, and the Ranger Lash Out. So these are probably the different character. She characters over here. Let's see what we have up here. Some more envelopes that we're not allowed to look at. Fine. Over here we have item decks, which we're also not allowed to open. These have numbers on. And I can also see these boxes actually are numbered. I don't know if you can see them, just take it up. So this one says box number one. This one is box number three. Box number two, which is some ally cards. These are also numbered. And these are just named different numbers, card separators for unique items. Then we have uh, some kind of insert for, oh, that's for all the tokens while you're playing. And we have some safe bags. So these are just plastic, very thin plastic Ziploc bags. And these are where we had the deluxe one that we looked at as the first item in the unboxing. Then we have uh, the character cardboards. And yeah, we're not allowed to look at the boards below. That is probably the monsters. But here we have an example, which is the Ursus Warbear, about his special abilities, HP, might die, etc. But yeah, that is everything that we are allowed to show in the box. So I'll just put this aside and continue to get back to the big box. Here we are. So it looks like a leather dice tray engraved with the Oswald logo. Let's take a look. 
yeah, it definitely is. So it has these buttons here to just push together. So you have this really nice kind of burgundy leather tray. So here we have another big box and this one says Mr. Chess 1 and 2. It is two boxes and it should be around 8 kilograms. But let's get it opened. So as you can see we are already way beyond the 20 kilograms and the 25 kilograms just in in boxes. And this is definitely some heavy stuff. This one is also a quite tall box as you can probably see on the camera. I don't really have room to show you anything. So we have two different boxes here. I will just take them up one at a time. So let me get to that. So first box here says uh, Mystery Chest 2. Okay. It doesn't say anything else. Uh, let's just get over. I don't think there is any specific order to whether or not you have one or two, to be honest. I do really love the art here with this paladin with all the lights and his big hammer and everything. But let's get it open. But as it says mystery chest and we already had the mystery envelopes, I would think that all of these are spoilers. So if we take any single of these, it probably says warning. Uh, it doesn't, but I'm pretty sure all of these are spoilers. I'm gonna open up the other uh, other box as well, and but again, I think it's the same thing. But let's see. I'm not gonna show you any of this content at least. So the other box is here. It again has the same artwork and says mystery chest one this time. There we go, and it's it's the exact same thing. So here we have one, two five a square symbol etc so i'm not gonna open any of these i don't know if there's multiple layers there is so we have box seven and here we have a tall one so it seems like we have a lot of different boxes in each of these just but that was the last of the boxes in the big box so i will just put this aside and get back to the other camera angle this was all the content of the oswald second edition collectors all in plates and it is a lot a lot of game a lot of mystery and a lot of accessories and i'm really looking forward to uncover what's inside these mystery boxes as we go through the story and the campaign of the game as always if you have any comments please write them in the comment section below where we will do our best to answer you guys and also if you enjoyed the video or found it helpful please consider giving us a like and subscribing to the channel it is highly appreciated. But that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching.